being an independent producer director for most of my career, in 1970 I founded my own company, New World Pictures. One of our biggest successes in our first few years was Piranha, which was really a phenomenal success. We made it for a couple of hundred thousand dollars and the gross was in the millions. <laughs> we were pretty happy with Piranha. So we needless to say decided to do a sequel and Chuck Griffith, who had written for me many times, uh, I decided to give the shot of directing because now as being the head of the production company, I didn't have time to direct myself. We'd made a couple of films in the Philippines where the costs were very low. So we set up from the depths in Hawaii, using a couple of stock shots of Hawaii to start the picture and then shot the whole thing in the Philippines. The script for Up From The Depths was done by Ann Dyer, who was my assistant, and Al Sweeney. Uh, they collaborated, did a very good script, and Ann, as I recall, also did some of the writing on Battle Beyond the Stars, although the script was basically written by John Sayles. The lead was Sam Bottoms, who had sort of an up and down career. He was in the last picture show, Apocalypse Now, and I don't know how many big pictures, and then he would get into some sort of problems and be available for a low budget picture. It was at one of those periods between his big pictures that we were able to hire Sam, and he was very good in the film. Suzanne Reed and Virgil Fry played the second and third leads. They were friends of Chuck, and uh, he wanted them in the film, and I knew they were good, so I said, go ahead. Uh, uh, we'll cast them. One of the people on our special effects team was Chris Wallace, who had one of those careers a special effects man would dream of. He started on low budget pictures, a number of them with me, went on to do some of the biggest pictures in Hollywood in a long career. I think he did Raiders of the Lost Ark, and I'm not even certain of the others, but uh, he became one of the top special effects men in Hollywood. Up From the Depths was a, a salvage job. The picture had been shot in the Philippines and Roger wanted to spice it up a little bit more with some, some more monster stuff, some more blood and gut stuff. Bob Short was another of our special effects men who started with us on low budget pictures. He went on to do Piranha, E.T., and uh, again, had a great career. Up From the Depths was a film that was already completed by the time Roger asked me to do a creature for it. Uh, he wanted something that could be shot in close-ups and something that could interact with the actors being bitten, stuff like that. Um, basically, I came up with a, uh, with a creature that I wasn't really fond of, and I don't think anybody else was, was fond of either. The uh, shots in the end result um, were... Uh, just this short of uh, just this short of a disaster. Bob wound up building a big fiberglass monster head, and uh, and I wound up doing a lot of uh, blood effects and severed arms and heads and things like that, and uh, and then helped push this giant fiberglass thing around underwater. With Chris Wallace, uh we teamed up and created um, prosthetic arms, limbs. Um, experimented with uh, how to create um, the prosthetics that could be torn apart underwater. It was uh, a lot of the usual stuff, throw the head, the severed head drifting through the frame and uh, pushing this, uh, this rubber, this monster around fiberglass head. And you know it was impossible to get this. This thing is huge and heavy, and we're you know we're just in we got scuba fins trying to propel this thing. So you know the 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 uh, camera guys go okay no faster faster faster. And we're like mm, struggling, killing ourselves, and this thing's just kind of mm, 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 <laughs> moving through frame pretty slowly. Roger had asked me to do a replacement creature for tight close-ups and attack sequences, um, and the creature that I came up with was big and scary, but the shots that we did underwater, the creature was just too unwieldy, and the sequences never had the, the energy or the punch that was really needed. There was an underwater housing that was available, and it wasn't the one that everybody wanted. Uh, and in fact, what happened was it 
it was a, if there was a wide angle distortion in it and so we could see the edge of frame. So there's a lot of footage that should be just this monster head moving through frame and it's actually the monster head and Bob Short and I swimming behind it, pushing it. I was one of the few certified divers as far as the visual effects uh, or makeup effects team goes. Fortunately, I was able to bring, uh, bring my background and uh, knowledge as far as uh, scuba diving to, um, to the work. One thing I absolutely have to thank Roger Corman and New World Pictures for is getting over my childhood fear of uh, water. I've been absolutely terrified of water since I was a little kid. When Up From The Depths came along, they, uh, they asked me to come work on the effects, and I said, okay, but I have to tell you, I can't swim. I don't like to go near water. And they're like, oh, fine, fine, don't worry. We just need you to pass us the blood tanks and, and, and whatever. Okay, fine. I go down there. And I see this incredible insanity that's going on, trying to film underwater is not easy to do in the first place. And they were trying to get a lot of effects packed in in a very short period of time. And suddenly they say, okay, can you just, just put on a wetsuit and just wade into the, into the shallow end here and meet us halfway, because it's really exhausting down there. I'm like, okay, but I, I, you know, I, I'm really afraid of water. And, and did that for a couple hours. They're like, oh, no, we need help. We, we need somebody pumping the blood down there. Just, you, you gotta go down there. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Uh, before I didn't even get a chance to say no, and they've got a they've got a, a dive mask on me, and they're putting a tank on me. The the uh, uh, the scuba pro is walking alongside me, kind of going, "Okay, just remember this, remember this, and whatever you do, don't don't rise faster than your bubbles or your dive." And they push me down, push me down in the water, and so I went from being totally terrified of the water to being able to swim and working eight hours a day underwater, thanks to Roger and his production. So thank you, Roger. <laughs> Working with Roger definitely defined a lot of what I did with the rest of my career as far as the work ethic and um, uh, trying to be creative, actually more creative than, uh, than the budget would allow on any of the films that, uh, that I've worked on since. Uh, that sense of the, and really being instilled with more, with that feeling of, a, of coming to each film as a, um, creative challenge and not just, uh, certainly not just as a job. To Roger Corman, I just want to say thank you very much for giving a fresh little kid from nowhere the chance to enter the film industry and develop a career and uh, uh, be an inspiration for a career as well. Thank you very, very much.